Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to video three. This is one of my favorite videos. Every time I put them up, I always include a video on the working royals and what they have been up to. So let's just jump in and cover it, shall we? Let's go. We're starting out with Sophie and Edward, the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh. They went to the grand opening of the Peninsula in London. This happened June 18th, the day before their silver wedding anniversary. Edward ran the opening ceremony for the evening. I do not need to tell you guys how much I love them. You should already know that. <laughs> the press picked up, in my opinion, on the fact that I was calling her secret weapon Sophie, and now everybody's calling her that. Fabulous. And a big thank you to Remy Lod Sauce for showing us what she was wearing. Moving on. Now, at that same event, the Duke of Kent with his daughter, Lady Helen Taylor, and his brother, Prince Michael of Kent, went to watch the grand opening celebrations. Now, this all took place in London. Everybody looks like they were having a fabulous time, and I love that uh, pink and orange dress. All right, next up, we have King Charles. He held an audience at Buckingham Palace with the President of the Republic of Zambia. Looking good there, Charles. Moving on, we have Prince William, who attended day two of Royal Ascot at the Ascot race course. The gentleman sitting next to William is the Earl of Halifax. So carriage one had Prince William, the Queen, and the Earl and Countess of Halifax. Moving on now to carriage number two, which had the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester and Lord and Lady Lloyd Webber. And I couldn't help but notice if you look at the Duke of Gloucester, he appears to have a, that his left eye is black and blue. It looks like he has a black eye. And thank you to Sarah Seeker for reminding me that the Duchess of Gloucester and Lord Lloyd Webber were both invested as new members of the Order of the Garter this year. Carriage number three had Princess Eugenie, her husband Jack Brooksbanks, the Lady Sarah Keswick, and Sir Mark Prescott. I am enjoying Eugenie's pink outfit, as everybody on my Patreon knows. I did not like that green one she was wearing. And carriage number four had the Marchioness of Landown, the Earl of Roslyn, and Baron and Baroness von Westenholtz. Also spotted in the crowd was Lucy and Thomas van Straubenzee, as well as Greg Mallet with Lady Amelia Spencer, and Lady Eliza Spencer with Samuel Aitken, I believe is how you say it. Also making their very first appearance since Catherine was diagnosed with cancer is Carol and Michael Middleton. Throughout the entire day, these two were seen with other members of the royal family. They were seen with Eugenie, Sophie, and of course, Prince William. At one point, <laughs> she stepped on the grass and her heel got caught. And so William had to hold her hand and help her while she extricated her shoe out of the grass. That's, you know, I'm sorry, I think that's funny. You know what really caught my attention, though, as the day went on and I watched all these pictures? You had Princess Beatrice with William. You had, you know, Zara and Mike. You had all the family. And that's the key word, family. These were family members hanging out together because that's what this is. As much as Harry says they're a firm and they're a business, they're family. And it's very obvious also that they're very close, that they have absolutely no problem hugging each other, as you can also clearly see in the pictures. And personally, I don't care what anybody says. You just cannot fake this kind of interaction. <sighs> For all of everybody, others, you know, of other people's complaining, this is a family, you know, maybe they fight on the side, but they're a family and they stick together. And I think everybody looks really, really happy, especially William. Good for him. Zara and Mike were looking really spiffy and happy together, as is usual. For all of you new people who follow me, you may not know that Zara and Mike come right in behind this couple, the Duke and Duchess and Secret Weapon Sophie. I love her outfit as well. I just love this, this couple. For those of you who noticed, that is correct. The king was not there on this particular day. It was Camilla by herself. I think he was having a treatment. And of course, there's Johnny keeping her company. It came time for the races. Here's a list of the race card for the day. Everybody then started walking up towards the royal box. There's one really good picture taken of Eugenie and Jack. She was getting all into this race. 
Ryan Moore was one of the winners, and he went down and was presented with his winner's medal by the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester. And I decided this time to do things just a little differently and thank Remulade Sauce at the end for all of the information on everything that everybody was wearing. I believe those earrings of Eugenie's she's worn now for several days in a row. But okay, I, I know people were complaining that I was constantly thanking them, but you know, guys, this person does a lot of work. They put a lot of effort into identifying everything that everybody is wearing, and so they deserve their due. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, it wouldn't be right for me to show them. So this is a new format, and if you're enjoying this better with this at the end, please leave those messages, and maybe I'll start switching it around that way. All right, you guys, you know what to do. Put those comments down. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Go down into the description box. You'll find the links to my Twitter, my Getter, my Rumble, my email, my Patreon for the unfiltered comment, my Amazon wish list. And if you've donated anything to my coffee fund, thank you so much. And as always, you guys, have a great day.